Huge thank you to my nine members on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. Cyberpunk may not have been one of the best games out there, but it sure did give us some good memes. Why do you come here? In Night City, you can become... Recently, I have recreated this exact meme on my streams and my community has been having a blast playing around with it. Nice cock. Thank you. I grew it myself. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Tonight, we're learning how to do this meme on our OBS. Let's go. How's it going, guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is The Synchro. Guys, tonight we're learning how to make that really funny meme from Cyberpunk 2077. What this meme will do is that it's going to freeze your camera for a few seconds. It's going to play the sound and whatever your viewers type when they redeem the reward is what the caption under you is going to be. All of the files that you're going to need for this meme are available on my Discord. So get your cute faces over there. Check out design files and look at all this free stuff that I'm giving out to you guys. This is my gift to each and every one of you for being absolutely phenomenal. And guys, if you like what we're doing here, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also share it around with your streamer friends so they can learn something new too. So what are we gonna need in order to do this effect? We actually need a couple of plugins and a software. So the first plugin that we're going to need is the most important one, which is OBS WebSocket. OBS WebSocket basically lets you connect your OBS to different softwares out there that can control your OBS for you. The next plugin that we're gonna need is the Freeze plugin by Exeldro. Essentially what this plugin does is that it will freeze your current scene or source whenever it's activated. That's how we're going to get a still frame of our streams to be adding into the meme. The last one that we're going to need is stream effects. And the reason why we need stream effects is because we're going to be using the source mirror feature in it. The source mirror feature essentially lets you make a duplicate of a source or a scene and then whatever filters you apply to that source mirror only affects a source mirror and nothing else. And finally, the software that we're going to need is StreamerBot. StreamerBot lets you control your OBS to such an insane level of interactivity. There is so many things that you can do with StreamerBot, more than I've ever seen any other software be able to do. You can even write your own C-sharp code in StreamerBot to make your OBS do some crazy, crazy things. All right, so those are the things that we're going to need. How do we install them? All of the links that you guys need will be on the description of this video. Starting off with OBS WebSocket, click the link of the description and it'll take you to the OBS forums. Click this button that says go to download and you'll be taken to the GitHub. Once you're on the GitHub, scroll down until you see assets and we're going to be downloading the OBS WebSocket Windows zip. Next, let's download Exeldra's freeze filters. Link is also in the description. Go to the website, head over to the download button. This new little page will pop up. We're going to download the Windows zip. Then we have Zaymar's stream effects. Link is on the description. Head over to the page, go to download over here. It'll take you to the GitHub. Once you're in GitHub, scroll down to assets and look for the stream effects Windows EXE. This is what we're downloading. And finally, we have StreamerBot. The link is also in the description. Head over to the StreamerBot webpage and come over here to streamer.bot. Click that button and you're done. Now that we've downloaded all of them, let's quickly install it. So first off, let's start by installing OBS WebSocket and the freeze filter. They're the easiest to install. Go over to your downloads and look for the zip files. We have the freeze filter and the OBS WebSocket. Open it up, select everything inside of it, then just click and drag into your OBS directory. If it asks you to replace anything, just click yes. Same thing applies with the freeze filter. Open it up, select everything inside of it, drag and drop into your OBS directory. To install StreamFX, we're going to have to load up their EXE. Double click the StreamFX EXE and go through their installation process. Depending on your version of OBS, you either will go to static or portable. I use a portable version of OBS, so I will choose portable. Click next, select your OBS directory, and then just click next. And then we have StreamerBot. StreamerBot works right out of the bag. All you gotta do is extract it from the zip file and it'll run. But I would recommend you do the following. Go to your OBS directory and make a folder, call it resources or whatever else you want, and then put StreamerBot inside that folder. This way, you always have your StreamerBot saved in your OBS directory. That means if you move your OBS directory, StreamerBot will go with it. It's just a good way to keep things organized and then you know that your StreamerBot is saved inside 
your OBS directory. You don't have to do this, of course, it's up to you, but this is how I would recommend having it. Awesome, now that we're done downloading and installing things, let's open up our OBS and start setting everything up. All right, so here we are on a brand new and completely clean OBS. The first thing that we wanna do is wanna make sure that our OBS WebSocket is installed correctly. So head over to Tools, and you should have this little menu that says WebSocket Server Settings. Click on that, and make sure that Enable WebSocket Server is ticked. Your default port should be 4444, but you can use whatever port you want. You can also enable authentication, which will require you to put a password in. I would recommend doing this just for the extra layer security, but it's not necessary to make it work. Once you're done, click OK. Now we're going to be setting up our sources and our scenes. First and foremost, let's set up our webcam. So let's go over to the plus and scenes, and we're going to make a webcam scene. And on this new scene, we're going to go over to sources, click the plus, head over to video capture device, and we're going to add our camera. Now let's start making the meme. Go over to your scenes and make a new scene, and we're going to call it cyberpunk meme. On this new scene, go over to sources, click the plus, and let's add an image. We're going to call it cyberpunk frame, and where it says image file, click on browse, and add the frame that I've given you guys on the Discord. You can use your own frame, but if you want to use mine, then that's okay too. Add that in, click OK, and let's lock it in place just so that we don't accidentally move it. Now let's go back to sources, click the plus, and add a text, and we're going to call this cyberpunk caption. Let's set up our text properties. You don't have to do this exactly, but this is what I recommend. For the font, you may or may not have this, so if you don't, just leave it as default. The font that I use is Adobe Arabic, and the size of the font is 150. Come down to alignment, and the alignment that we're going to set is center, and vertical alignment is also center. Then tick the box that says use custom text extent, and the dimensions that we're going to be using is 1920 by 300. Make sure the wrap is ticked, and then click OK. Then just drag your cap caption down to the bottom and lock it so we don't accidentally move it. Next, we're going to be adding our source mirror. So go over to sources, click the plus and add the source mirror. If for some reason you don't see your source mirror, then it's probably because you didn't install stream effects correctly. Add a source mirror. We're going to call this cyberpunk webcam. Where it says source, make sure you select this camera source that we made. Don't select the actual scene. Make sure it's the camera. Once you're done, click OK. Move the source mirror to the bottom, so behind every single one of these, and then just resize it to whichever way you want. You don't have to resize it like how I have it. You can resize it in any way that you want. Awesome. I'm happy with this. I'm going to lock it in place. Now we need to add that freeze filter to our cyberpunk webcam. So right click cyberpunk webcam, select filter. On effect filters, click the plus and head over to freeze. The settings that I would recommend is activate, enable freeze, deactivate, disable freeze, show, enable freeze, and hide, disable freeze. Now select all of these sources, right click, and group them. The next thing you want to do now is hide this group, leave everything else on. Head over to the scene in which you want the meme to show up in. On sources, click the plus button over here, select scene, and then select the cyberpunk meme scene. Leave that on top. Now, at first, it's going to seem like nothing's happening, but that's because we turned off the group. Once we turn that group on, that's when the effect is going to go off. And that's what we're going to be doing on Streamerball. We're going to make it so once the channel reward gets redeemed, it'll turn that group on. But this is what it will look like once the group gets turned on. And obviously, we're also going to be adding the sound effect as well as the custom text that your viewers will be able to redeem. Awesome. Now that we're done with all of this, let's head over to StreamerBot. So first things first, start up your StreamerBot. And the first thing that we're going to do on StreamerBot is click this big button that says connect to Twitch. If it's your first ever time running StreamerBot, it'll probably ask you to log in on Twitch. Once you see your viewer list, that means you're connected. The next thing that we gotta do is connect our OBS. So head over to this OBS tab, and then on this first big area over here, right click and then add. Give it a name. I'm gonna call it Tutorial OBS. The port is whatever port you had on your OBS WebSocket settings. In my case, 25565. And then the password is whatever password you added to it. If you didn't add a password, then you can skip the password tab. Tick auto connect on startup and reconnect on disconnect. This is just for convenience and then click OK. Then simply right click and connect. If the status says connected and you can see whatever sources and scenes you have on that OBS, that means it's working. All right, so on this next step, we're basically going to be setting up a queue. This step is optional if you use the cooldown feature for the channel rewards. But if you don't use the cooldown feature for your channel rewards, 
then this step will actually be very helpful. Cues on streamer bot essentially make it so if your channel reward is redeemed multiple times, it won't go off at once. It'll be put in a queue and it'll just automatically redeem after all the actions have gone through. To set up a queue, head over to settings and go over to general. Over here in action queue, let's make a queue called cyberpunk. Make sure the blocking is ticked and then just simply click add. And there you go, we have created the queue. Next thing we gotta do is set up the actual channel reward. Head over to channel point rewards at the top, right click anywhere here, go to add and simply make your channel reward. I'm gonna go with cyberpunk tutorial and make sure guys, this is incredibly important. Make sure that user input required is ticked and then configure it to your liking. You can also create the channel reward on Twitch itself, but it's recommended to start creating channel rewards on streamer bot because then you have additional control over your channel rewards. Now let's make the action. Right click anywhere on the empty space, click add and let's call this action cyberpunk. Where it says Q, simply add it to the Cyberpunk queue that we made. If you want to add it to a group, that's up to you. Click OK. Select your action that you just created and let's head over to the sub actions over here. Now, these are the sub actions that you're going to be adding. Right click, add action, select OBS, look for set text GDI, select a scene, in our case, a Cyberpunk meme, and the source is the Cyberpunk caption. And what you want to have on the text over here is percentage raw capital I input and percentage and then click OK. Essentially what this is going to do is that it's going to grab whatever text is written on the channel reward and it's going to assign the text source to say that. Next we're going to be adding another sub action so right click add action head over to OBS and look for set source visibility state and here we're going to be selecting our group that we created. I named my group cyberpunk so select that and then click OK. Now what this one is doing is basically telling it to turn on that group next thing that we're going to do is adding the actual sound so right click add action go over to sounds and play sounds over here to select your audio application that you want and the sound to play click these three little dots over here and select the cyberpunk audio file that i provided you guys on discord you can select the loudness as well of the file i'm gonna go with 20 percent and make sure that you also have finished playing before continuing toggled on and then click OK. Next thing you want to do is you want to right click your OBS source visibility state and duplicate it and then change it from visible to hidden. And one final thing as well that you might want to do if you're using the queue system is right click, add action, add a delay, and then you can add as many seconds as you want. I'm going to go with one second, which is a thousand milliseconds. Having a bit of a delay is recommended if you're using the queue system. So then there's a little bit of a break in between redemptions. So let me explain what these actions are doing for you guys. Text GDI is going to grab whatever your viewer set as the caption. Your source visibility state will turn on the meme, so it'll freeze your camera, it'll put it in the frame, and it'll also turn on the text. It'll play the sound, and then once the sound finishes playing, it's going to hide your group. Now the final step that we need to do is connect it to the actual channel reward. So head over to channel point rewards at the top, Double click your cyberpunk tutorial and where it says action down the bottom over here, just select cyberpunk, click select and then click OK. And you're done. Now, whenever someone redeems the reward, this is what it'll look like. In cyberpunk 2077, you can become. What makes someone a criminal in Night City? Getting cock. And there we go, guys. That's how you can make the Cyberpunk 2077 meme on your OBS. It's a brilliant meme to have, and there has been so many funny moments on my stream because of this meme. And the best part about this is as well is that everything that you learn today, you can use and apply it on different memes that you create. And if you guys like this meme, you guys are absolutely going to love the Mr. Incredible meme that I made the other day. Check that tutorial out. Trust me, it is, it's not going to disappoint you. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Thank you so much for your your time i hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way shape or form if you guys have any questions and want to learn more come check us out on twitch i stream monday wednesdays and fridays starting at 4 p.m australia western standard time and i'd love to see you there that's all for this video friends i hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream and if you guys want to check out some more cool tutorials and learn how to do some really really awesome things you're doing yourself a disservice by not checking out these two videos trust me on this you won't regret it